you know what's funny? All my fish, but I got one. He's down here. He's fished with me thirty something years. Uh huh. All of our friends that came up here every opening day for years, they've all died on me. Uh -huh. I'm down to one one left. You know? <laughs> all right. Well, I, I was hoping that he'd come down this way. I hadn't, I hadn't seen him in a while. It's called the least leash on life. Re-released because I had to rewrite it. So it's the re-released leash leash okay. on life. Okay, got gotcha. Least leash on life. And I, uh, I had to get all my syllables down, so all the numbers are my syllables. I've, I haven't read it aloud ever, so this was my first time reading it aloud. A fantastic warm sunny day, a tepid 70s for mid-December, yet sort of clammy in an old way, foreboding the day I would remember. Episoding today in a way that would weigh on me like a floating, burning, flying ember. The day I can't get out of my mind. The day I observed Satan's contract sign. The sun was high noon in the sky. Finished the coffee, ready to embark on the dog's daily walk. Bonsai. Through the day seemed deeply grim and stark. Darting up ahead she blazed over the hill, chasing a hare. I was starting up coffee craze like Jack and Jill. I made it there. As I slowly crested the mound, there sits in the Wash's ravine, under the thorny mesquite found, Randall's tired, dusty machine. Cock my head, inquiring to myself, what the heck? Presage, dread, backfiring, uh-oh, I had better check. I yelled with no avail, no sound from the end of the trail, no movement on my hail around, a dim beat in my heart. The dog looks in like stale art, her tail stands. I'm gonna take a picture while you're doing that. Stiff as a doornail, no glasses brands my braille view, fuzzy, no detail flow chart, greens, browns, flesh tones, and orangey red. I walk the colored trees over crunchy limbs and rounded rocks. Doc stand, the dog stands with unease, questioning while looking at me. I, then I see Randall dead, strangling and dangling, dead from a limb, looking blind with dread, a faded desire, a rubber neck hung vandal with bent knees. Through briared brush, I lost my handle exhaling a wheeze, a vision I cannot unsee, his eyes bloodshot, cold like the ground, looking down at his feet, an ashen cigarette I found, a pipe filled with hashish on the couch, burned into my memory, his dog leash holding the keys to his ATV, tied to the tree, acrimony swimming with unease, slowly churns my stomach's brim. My rooted fury burned hot, deep, down inside while yelling at him, telling him I was gonna kill him as my fists were clenched tight. My heart wrenched, my mouth went dry, observing details despite his stance, hanging by a literal thread, a dance bed him of fright frozen chance at life misled by Satan's sad, sad hymn song last night. The thread had dug deeply, his swollen neck, bruised black and blue, an empty tin of pills on the couch, his knees slack and bent, half pint of vodka, captain sitting on the chair I knew. He wasn't done with his depression. He leaned back to vent that loop around his neck. Death's cortege pleading the way, looking at the stars, little specks sinking as he passed out. Slowly leaning back too far, blood to his brain went astray. That array going black, flooding the fading mind with doubt. That leash tightened more. His weak knees gave their last wheeze. 
hellhound starving for a dying soul's last acquiescence. His face whitened, death's grasp drying his river of essence. Ideation fulfilled by crushing desire, crushing despair. Please, Satan's trusty. <coughs> 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 Ideation fulfilled by crushing despair. Please, Satan's trustees. Damnation by a <clears throat> damnation by a thrilled high won't repair the fading light. Reality threw his life away to the hungry dogs. The mortality of fatality. Life's chain is off the cogs. Fate's brutality eats ego with torrid teeth of anthracite. Oh, how my mind gazed at the horror of the empty eyes of Randall. View glazed with poor choices and as deceptive lies. Satan sought the act to dictate killing his existence, putting his distraught debate ahead of fate's persistence, throwing caution to the breeze only to fall at his feet, a growing coloss and wheezed, his liquor-laden retreat. Fading life's sweet, diseased mind found the tangibility of death's embrace, seized, welcoming, bound suitability, the suit of death, easily dawned, just slipping on a fitting prize, wrapped up in costume, were conned into the demise of life's lies, with the zombie bride groomed you are. Life's dead, a solitude finis, Abercrombie necktied, doomed wedding wife, too prude to kiss, his limp body dangling dead, with keys to his home and ATV just above his head, the strangling life, leash of gullibility, sucking the belief he had jurisdiction over his life's lease, plucking the relief of black, bad affliction of deceptive strife's peace. A fantastically warm, sunny day, a tepid 70s for mid-December. <laughs> Yet sort of clammy in an old way, chaptering the day I would remember, capturing today in a way that would weigh on me like a floating, burning, gliding ember. The day I can't get out of my mind, the day I observed Satan's contract sign. Distraught though I was, I had walk home to tell the wife about the horrible, deplorable sight of Randall's demise. The doubt of his validation, living his damnation of strife. Knowing his unsure fixation of Satan's wise, murderous lies, baffled the party in the scene. If only he would have spoken to me. Talking to myself, I walked past his cold, heartless, broken machine. Walking by oneself, my abstract entity, a broken journey. Shaking my head, I knock on the renter's door, quietly conveying the tragedy I learned. He came to my house first. To speak to me, quietly he yearned. Knocking on my door, my heart sank. He trusted me, down to his suicidal thirst. Me, watching Satan's lies on the telly. Shocking to the core. Knock, knock, knocking at my door, sound drowned by a movie of war, tick-tock, timed uproar, blocking his muted search for succor. A lousy louse, like I felt, choking my cry, I had to tell the spouse, my eyes began to well up with tears, facing the chore to rouse. It was a loud shriek at first, followed by a rise of latent cries, telling of Randall's demise, keeping it short to the blatant theme, picking up the phone calling the cops of my exercise surprise reported missing last night. Perhaps he's just blowing off steam after an ensuing fight. He left. What's the locale? Please advise within minutes and a short dusty stop. I'd lead a uniform team to my coat heart. The orangey red pop of colors where he lies. Aborting, aborting my police escort, I hear yelling. It's her downstream, distorted, running up this wash is this girl with tears in her eyes. It can't be real. He can't be dead. Where is she? Consoling her scream, directing to the thickety, orangey red to which he was dressed. 
Wiggly and rickety from the sun, quickly she turned her blame, distorted and blubbering she was, tearfully beating my chest. Thwarted hands of rubber bouncing off my chest, her hands of flame with anger and pain denouncing my name, the trusting she possessed. Painless though it was, little blobs of flesh. Her tiny, thrusting hands came, time after time, sputtering tears from her eyes, crying to sit rest, pushing me away. Uttering fear, she ran to the scene of shame, tasting the salty tears on my lips. Upon me, she cast her blame, as though I had hung him myself, the executioner my name. She ran toward the glum arena of crime. I felt guilty as sin, as thought it were my fault. All her paradigm anger held within that could have saved him. All it took was walking to the window gap, always open to the cats. I shook my cold heart of shame untapped. A strap memory always burning in my mind, like an uncapped dread. Trapped there, a candle in the back of my head seemed Randall dead. Detached, blown denial. A limelight of my fatal lies aglow. An unknown foretold conclusion making us all afraid to grow, to envision bold confusion, our lives hanging by his soul thread. The fate we all know lies at the reaper's hand, yet it remains unread, our story impending demise, life led by the seeds we sow. The prize ascending heaven or hell we surmise as we grow, expanding every breath addicted. We inch closer to the end. How will our memory be afflicted? How will our life transcend? A fantastically warm, sunny day. A tepid 70s for mid-December, yet sort of clammy in an addled way. Altering the day, I would remember faltering today in a way that would weigh on me like a floating, burning, drifting ember. Foul play that I can't get out of my mind the day I observe Satan's contract sign. When I know it's <laughs> very personal and all that. Wow, we... Well, I'm glad to get that over with. <laughs> so it was